Okay, so today we're going to look at using multiplication to purchase the fruit and vegetables for our fruit market store. And I have here some um, different types of pink lady apples. So I've got some organic pink lady apples and I've got some fresh pink lady apples here. And I'm going to compare the price of these because when I'm shopping for fruits and vegetables, I want to make sure that I'm getting the best price that I can. So if I have a look here, I've also got my times table chart and I can use that. It's really a, a handy tool for me to have when I'm using the split strategy for multiplication which we'll be doing to complete this task so that I've got easy access to those facts where I need them. Okay so let's have a look at our items that we're looking at purchasing. Um, we've got two examples of pink lady apples so we've got the organic one first and you can see that that comes in at $6.98 a kilo so I need to purchase all my fruits and vegetables in kilos. So whenever you're looking at the, at the items, you need to look down at the price per kilogram because that tells you um, how much it's going to cost you to purchase. And then you use that to multiply the number of kilograms that you want to have. So I need to get my $6.98 per kilogram. I need to purchase as many kilograms as I can to get as close to $50 as I can as well. So let's have a look at... Six dollars and ninety-eight cents. Okay. So if I break this up, I know that it's six hundred and ninety-eight cents. So I can look at this like six hundred and ninety-eight. So there's my ones, there's my tens, and there's my hundreds. Okay. Now let's say I want to multiply that, it's close to $50, so I'm just going to do a, an estimate here and I'm going to say, okay, I'm going to multiply it by 7 and see how close that gets me to $50. So $6.98 by 7. So let's start with our 100 here. So I know that this 6 actually means 600 because it's 600 cents. So 600 times 7. Now, I might not know that off the top of my head, but I can use my chart to do that. So if I find 6 times 7, I can see my 6 is here, and my 7 is in the green here. So 6 times 7 is 42. So if 6 times 7 is 42, then 600 times 7 is... four thousand two hundred. Okay, so that would be 4,200 cents. Now I need to look at my tens column here, and I've got a nine. So that actually means 90 cents, and I'm going to multiply that by seven as well. So 90 multiplied by seven. Now once again, I might not be able to know that off the top of my head, but I can use my time table chart to work it out. So 90 times seven, is like finding 9 times 7 but adding a 0 on the end. So I find my 9's column which is down here in the green and I'm multiplying that by 7 which is here. So that's 9 times 7 is 63. So 90 times 7 is 630 cents. Then I look at my 8 so I've got 8 cents here, and I can multiply that by 7. So once again, using my times table chart, I find my 8 and my 7, which is just here, and I can see that 7 times 8 is 56. So, oops. times 7 equals 56. So then I have my three numbers to add up. So if I add this up, 0 plus 0 plus 6 is 6. 0 and 3 and 5 is 8. 2 and 6 is 8. And then 4 on its own. So that means, I'm pretty close actually, to buy 7 kilograms would be $48.86. So that's pretty close to $50.